Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the Arduino compatible Mega 2560 from IC Station. Guys, IC Station was so kind enough to send me the Mega 2560 Arduino compatible board. Let's have a look and see what we've got here. I have to say, this is an impressive looking little board. The 2560 from Atmel on board, you should check out the data sheet on these. Arduino doesn't do it justice. The data sheet is 477 pages on the one I looked at. Tons of stuff available that Arduino doesn't fully cover. But overall, I'm really impressed with this board. I really, really like it. One reason I like it so much, the labeling. They did a fantastic job on all the labeling of the I.O. Clearly identifying everything. The 2560 has 54 I.O. pins, 15 of which are PWM, pulse width modulated capable, clearly labeled here. Just awesome. 16 of the pins are analog, 128 kilobytes of flash, 8 kilobytes of SRAM, 4 kilobytes of EEPROM on board at 16 megahertz. Really, really powerful microcontroller. Guys, if you want to step up from the small ones, this really allows some serious horsepower. The really cool thing about the Mega 2560 is right here. Four UARTs for TTL 5 volt serial comm. Really, really handy. Allows you to do multiple serial comms at the same time. I don't know of any other Arduino that allows that without using software serial. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, you should really check out the data sheet on these to see the full capabilities of this incredible chip on board. Let's go ahead and power this up. I'll just use my Adafruit Power Boost 500 that I have handy dandy right here. And with any luck, it should already have the blink sketch on board, and it does. We've got an LED blinking, so that's our hello world. The board is alive. Let's go one step further. Let's go ahead and flash this. So I've gone ahead and flashed the board with a basic PWM code, pulse width modulation, uh, on one pin. And we'll go ahead and take the Rigel DS1052E scope and have a look at it. Let's go ahead and hook up ground on the scope to ground on the Arduino. We'll hook up our signal line to pin 11 that I've chosen in the code. And let's go ahead and take a look at the scope. So here we're using the Arduino to pulse width modulate the signal coming out and we're able to view that live on the scope. I know this is really basic guys, but it's pretty handy to be able to uh, see this real time on a scope and the Rigel does an awesome job of it. So I just have a delay in the code. I'll post the code right up on the screen here so you can see it, nothing to it, just changes every second nothing to it. In a nutshell, we've got the Arduino Mega in a couple of minutes, PWM, pulse width modulating a pin, it's working perfect, and we can flesh this out with a huge amount of I.O. Truly powerful board. You may have actually seen this board in use on my previous videos on my robot here. Uh, I'm drastically underutilizing this, and what we're going to do, I'm going to take this one and add it to my Arduino project, I think, my Arduino garden, and we'll go ahead and use it on there so we have tons of I.O. and we can actually do some Internet of Things with it. Thank you to IC Station for sending this to me. Guys, remember to hit that thumbs up, uh, subscribe for more videos. Truly appreciate it. Good luck in all your projects.